And it bothered me that she felt like that was okay too. I would probably fight you every time. You really felt this type of way thinking that nobody heard you and I heard you. <laughs> Let's get it started. Get my edge control. Then I get like one of these spoolies. This one already has edge control on it, so. Damn to judge my life. I take my edge control, just dab my finger in it and rub it on my eyebrow like this. It doesn't really matter the motion to put it on as long as like every piece or every hair is touched. So then you wanna brush that thing up so you could just guarantee that all the product is throughout the brow. And you'll do the same thing to that other brow. Take the spoolie and like brush it down in the motion of like where you would want your brow to go. Basically, just clean it up. Cleaning it up. Put the spoolie on top. Boom. Boom. And it ain't moving. So this next step is optional. You don't have to do it, but I do it because I like for when I put the product on for my brows I like it to be just easier to put on you can take pretty much any setting powder that you have any loose powder that you have I'm gonna use my Sasha actually no because I'm running low on this one and I like to bake with my Sasha buttercup so I'm gonna use some of my Laura Mercier this step is optional so I'm just gonna tap this brush that I have, which is a Real Techniques brush. I tapped it in the product like that and just brush it on top of the brow. It kind of helps it to lay down a little bit more. Plus when you actually put the product in there, it's going to be just easier to glide across. So I'll just brush this through the brow like that. I got this off of Amazon. You guys want the link it will be below so i'm just gonna fill in those empty spots but i like you feel the difference when you use the powder on top of the um edge control because it just glides like when you don't use the powder it kind of can get stuck or things could get stuck on the brush because the edge control is still kind of wet the powder just mattens it a little bit so let me Closer. And the shape here doesn't have to be perfect because remember you're going to use some concealer also to make sure that line is crisp. Sidebar, have y'all been watching Young, was it Young Famous Africans? I'm obsessed with that show <laughs> and obsessed with this brow. It's coming together. I am obsessed. They have some new cast members. Fontana, I'm in love with. I'm sorry. Zari annoys me. Fontana, I'm in love with. I actually sent her a DM and she responded back because I had to give that girl her flowers. I was like, your energy on the show, baby girl. I was like, keep going. I'm talking to her just like this. I was like, sis, you are so dope. I think you are so bomb. That show really, really like, I love it already, but she kind of made me fall in love with her on that show. So shout out to her, shout out to the whole cast and crew. I wanna do a song with Diamond, like he's fire. I wanna do a song with Nadia, she's lit. Fontana too, She, I just like her vibe. She seems so bubbly and fun until you mess with her. And I'm like that too, that's always like, I understand you. You cool until you're not no more, until people keep poking you. Then it's like, oh, where is this energy? I don't know you have that in you. Yeah, because I would prefer to be nice to you, but I'll switch it up if you give me that type of energy I feel like I gotta give you and Zari was messing with her because I know editing's a thing y'all know I have been on reality television for sure y'all have seen it if you haven't I was on 
um, a television show by the name of First Family Hip Hop with my family, as well as I did my Super Sweet 16 a long time ago. We're not gonna talk about how long ago, but uh, that was a while ago. So I know editing is a thing, but at Nadia's, um, I guess she had invited everybody to her rehearsal because she had some show or something like that. And Zari was just like, oh, and talking to Annie, she was like, you missed this and you missed Fontana hooking up with Diamond and da da da. I'm like, girl, if your issue was with Diamond and the things that he was telling her, why are you bringing up the fact that Annie missed the fact that they hooked up? That has nothing to do with why you're mad and you're saying you're mad at your baby daddy, so why are you mad at her and throwing shots at her? I didn't understand that and I didn't like that. Zari really bothers me. She does. I don't know the girl. And sometimes two people get on these shows and whatever persona they feel like is going to bring the best ratings or whatever, they're going to bring that. But so if that's the if that's what she was going for, job well done. But if not, that's who you are in regular life. That is very annoying. Not gonna lie. Like I got tired of hearing I'm the boss lady and I don't care. But I'm like, girl, you do care. You do so care. Like it's okay to care and have feelings and be a little bit upset that your baby daddy is just having a time in his life or whatever the case may be. Cause it sounds like she doing her too. But doing her don't necessarily mean she's over him so i don't know their situation and I, I don't want to act like i do but i say all that to say fontana i like you girl live your life she was what she said she was like i see me with diamond every day if i saw another man with chains and stuff i would be right there like she's not pressed about this man i feel like she's just young she's living her life she's doing what she want to do and i'm here for it i'm like go ahead girl live it up live it up and she loyal too because she could have she could have said all the things that Diamond said to to her about Zari, but she didn't. She was like, whatever me and him talk about is what we talk about. And I was like, go ahead, girl. Zari knew that she said just enough to where she knew Diamond had told her some things. And I was like, girl, he was pillow talking. He was pillow talking. It's okay. Zari gives that vibe though. Like she makes you feel safe. She makes you feel comfortable. Like she's just a cool girl. And I think Diamond likes that. Not me talking about these people like I know them. I'm just talking about the show. Swanky. I love me some Swanky and I love his talent, but I do not like how he did that boy, Lewis. I was not here for it because I felt like it was a bullying situation. Granted, however Lewis was acting in the beginning, he Lewis kind of bothered me too because I was just like, he's doing a lot to try to fit in. Like that sort of made me feel like, like to try to make his presence known within the group. But I didn't like how Swinky did that to that boy with that t-shirt. I felt like that was so wrong and it was just messed up and it was petty. And it was just like, you didn't have to do that. So I know you guys are like, what are you talking about if you've never seen the show before? So basically, I'm going to give it to you real quick. Swinky basically gave Lewis a t-shirt that said he had 87 different personalities because he said that every time he was around people, he became a different person. So he said it to him and then he made the shirt acting like he was giving Lewis a gift and it just honestly you see the heartbreak in lewis's face and it made me real sad so that's what i was talking about make sure you guys do watch the show because the show is actually like really really good so fire and let me get back to my get ready with me so that part i didn't like swinky i still love you I still got so much love for you and your talent but that part i wasn't here for that because i was just like that was unnecessary um especially if you know that boy is just trying to find his footing and find his place in this group like y'all not the easiest people to just for somebody that is still trying to find themselves and somebody that is like new to y'all space like he's trying to find his footing and he's trying to figure out like who are my friends here who am i as a person like he said he was he had a whole thing with his family to where he got i guess excommunicated from his family and he's low-key trying to find a new one so i just felt like you didn't have to do that to that boy i felt really really bad for him i actually was just like damn my heart hurts for you i'm an empath y'all know i'll be feeling everything <sighs> all right sidebar let's go back to this makeup so the next step i just put what shade is this this is deep caramel some elf hydrating concealer I usually use a lighter color, but this time I, I use this one. Usually sometimes in the summertime, my skin changes, so I have to use a different color. Oh yeah, y'all see the brows before I go in with the concealer? Y'all see how just more laid they are and tamed down they are? I feel like if I do want to do something that is like just a little bit more natural, 
I won't do that or if I'm in a rush like that's a little unnecessary to do all of those steps but I like how my brows look it gives it a more defined look which I love what other parts oh that part where Annie and her husband and I think Andale and Nadia they were sitting at the table and the husband was basically saying like something I don't want to put words in his mouth but to me it was something along the lines of like let it be known what you want from a woman if you there to just have sex like that's it like i don't know if he says something along the lines of like this is just his beliefs with women or something like that I don't want to put words in his mouth but that whole conversation didn't sit right with me at all because i was just like your wife is sitting right there like yes be yourself but you're in front of people and you saying basically you could from how i received it was like you could do something with somebody as long as you say what it is like if you if you just want to have sex with that person you could just have sex with that person that's just what it is and i'm just like damn bro like after you just had kids on your wife after you just repaired your relationship after your wife like her wife your wife is so madly in love with you now y'all work past so many things like liquor liquor is something baby that's why i feel like they be putting alcohol on these sets because when that liquor come out baby so does that extra spirit and it's just like oh why are you doing this like i feel like that was a whole conversation in the car ride home like that was an awkward car ride home after it had to be like why are you talking like this in front of people knowing what you put me through like that's crazy but be yourself mm -mm. and on delay annoys me he annoys the crap out of me i feel like he tried to come on this season like a therapist every time he would talk and they would put that music behind him i would be so irritated i'm like oh my god not this man who don't got his life together trying to help everybody else put their life together like he annoys me it still bothers me that he thought it was okay to date diamonds baby mama and it bothered me that she felt like that was okay too i was like why would you what like i thought that was so disrespectful and i thought diamond loki he handled it in such a great way and it was probably because he has his own thing going on and he really don't care but at the same time it's like bro code like if a woman tried to do that to me i would probably fight you every time not even the fact that i just that i want my my guy back or anything it's just the fact that you violated me we we're in the same group you came to my home you were giving me advice on certain things and then you try to go and be with this person oh baby it will not be pretty for you so i felt like that was just messed up like something like that i feel like yeah you can forgive but you will never forget that somebody really tried to slide in on your family like that that was crazy but kanye i love her i love her down i don't care that's one person i'm like she could do anything in my eyes and i still love her where is my brush i'll be right back y'all i lost one of my brushes and i'm so tired about it because it's one of my favorite brushes whatever so it's fine so i'm just gonna blend this stuff out as y'all can see the brow is browing um but yeah i'm i'm in love with the rich famous africans here for that show and it was funny too because i'm like diamond really like fontana i feel like yeah he doing his thing out here and she is too but i'm like you could tell he has a level of respect for her though because even at the table, he ain't disrespect her. He kind of let her say what she had to say. It was like they have an understanding and they're letting it be that. Like, Fontana does not give me, I'm going to be here doing things for the cameras. I'm just saying what's real. And I love that about her. I love that. Like, nobody can use your truth against you if you're being truthful. I feel like she just gives that. And Diamond was like, you know, I love you, Fontana. I'm like, boy, this girl's like, all right. I love you too, Diamond. It was, it was so funny to me. But um, Nadia also, I feel like she slayed her looks this year. Somebody said it on, I think it was Twitter. And I was like, she did. She came through. Hair, makeup, everything laid. I was like, period, Nadia. Go off, sis. Go off, girl. Who else? Am I missing people? Andale is irritating. Sorry is irritating. Swanky has some moments that were irritating. Love him to pieces, but he was a little bit. He was giving mean girls sometimes. And I, my thing is too, I be hating when people 
they know that they did something wrong or mean and somebody be like, you know, that was crazy what you did. And they be like, what? Boy, don't give me that. You know what you was doing to that boy, Lewis. You know. And Lewis, he seems sweet. He seems like he has good intentions. But baby, just find yourself. Because reality television is not for the weak. Trust me. Trust me, baby. The people that like you are going to like you. The people that don't, won't. And that's okay. It is what it is. So, um, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who else was on that show? All right, y'all. Skipped a couple steps off camera because I'm just trying to hurry up and get my face done. But another thing i forgot to talk about was swanky and annie's beef oh my gosh so it's so crazy because I, I understood both sides but i understood swanky and i understood his hurt i'm not gonna hold you because it's a difference if you hear from somebody you hear through the grapevine or the internet that somebody was talking about you but when you hear that with your own two ears somebody that you love and care about is trying to cut you out of a deal and is saying um bad things about you bitch i would stop talking to you too I'm not gonna hold you like i definitely would that's the type of energy i'm on and i honestly i'm not mad at him for going and doing that event because that level of hurt that's that is like that's so it's mean and it's just like how do you ever say that you love me if you number one gonna try to cut me out of a deal and two you don't even have the balls to say what you thought i didn't hear to somebody else to me that to me is like that's so disloyal it's so heartbreaking and it's like y'all let me know what y'all think when it comes to that too because i i naturally feel like if somebody does something to that magnitude they're gonna do it again or like i don't know i feel like can you trust somebody after that yes you can forgive them yes you can kind of like resolve certain things but can you really trust somebody after they after you hear them saying like terrible things about you and trying to cut you out of something that y'all was supposed to do together let me know how y'all feel about that because i know me i don't know that i will be able to like come over to your house and chill with the kids and do all i mean the kids don't got nothing to do with it let me take that back i don't know if i can keep keep with you like i used to i don't know if i can tell you certain things i don't know if i can even bring you into business now because you really try to cut me out of something that we were supposed to do together so i'm not gonna lie i felt his pain with that and i was just like you know what i would have did the same exact thing i would have gone and did my event and did what i had to do without saying a damn thing to you because you really felt this type of way thinking that nobody heard you and i heard you god is funny like that and it's so crazy that happened to me one time um i was working with this photographer who wanted who hit me up to work with me and um i had an appearance and i had a booking and he had called me and i was like he called me and i told him i was like hey i'm running a little bit late but this this boat is not taking off without me it's my booking and I was probably gonna be like maybe 15 minutes late. And I hate being late, so that's already a thing for me. Um, I don't like that at all. And I'm usually like super early and punctual and on time. Do you know, do you know that this man called me back and I'm like, hello? And he goes, Oh my God, I just hate working with people like this because you know she's not gonna be here until like 15 minutes after she told me to arrive. Like, I don't know why she would even tell me to come at this time when she knew that she was gonna be late. And I was like, hello? Hey, it's Leah. And when I say the way that this man just, he just hung up the phone because I don't think he knew exactly what to say. But I'm just like, I felt like that was God. God don't be playing about me. And after that, I never worked with him ever again. Cause I was just like, you, I, I just don't like people that got balls everywhere else, but with the person that they're popping a shit about. Like that was so crazy to me. First of all, you asked to work with me. I was going to be 15 minutes behind. Like you, you could have easily said something on the phone. Like, all right, Leah, you know what? Honestly, like, I, I can't wait whatever the situation was but you wanted to gossip and kiki with somebody and you thought that you were calling your friend but you called me i say god don't play about me I, I will see everything that i have to see i will hear everything that i have to hear like it don't matter he don't play about me that's all i gotta say so i felt 
I felt Swanky's pain when you could say that you love somebody and care about somebody and you're working on something and then the person turn around and low key stab you in your back. Like, that's crazy. How did you think that was going to end, Annie? How? Like, even the event itself. Like, if you didn't have the balls to tell him, hey, I don't think we should do this event together and you told somebody else and you was planning on doing this event yourself, you did the same thing that he did. He just did it because he heard that you were going to do this to him first. So... Swanky, I feel you. But I did see that they made up in the season. I hope they they can build, rebuild their relationship back together. Um, it's because you also I try to give people a pass. Also, as much as I'm like, oh, I gotta be weary of you. I feel like when people are in not the greatest spaces and states of mind, their logic is off. They're not thinking the way that they normally would think, and it's like some things you can't take back that's the thing about that that's why i believe in having your emotions checked and believe in voicing how you feel and not letting things pile up and build up and just being real because listen if she would have told swinky that in real life i'm sure versus him hearing it and her thinking that he didn't know that she said that two different energies like that was crazy that was crazy so he better than me. I don't know if I could have kikied with you after that. I still would have been like, I, yeah, I got love for you, but I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Trust for me is everything. Intent is everything. Your intention was to like be very harmful with making that phone call to your manager or whoever it was that you had called. So how y'all feel about that? If you heard somebody talking crazy about you, you heard that with your own ears, how would you react? I want to know. You heard somebody spilling up beans about you, saying how you're not a great person. How would you respond? Because I know how I would. Baby, it would have been the same thing Swanky did. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. So, yeah. I'm about to go watch a couple more episodes, but I feel like I'm missing something. I'll be back. <coughs> Ooh, Jesus. Sidebar, y'all, this is not a sponsored video, but my curls just came back to life by using this silicon mix. It also works on my natural hair, and I was using it a lot when I was really trying to grow my hair. So I put a little shampoo in it, washed it out, and then I like took, I had a brush in the shower, and I crushed through it with the silicon mix. Baby, my curls are back to life. They're so pretty and just bouncy. Love it, love that for me. Baby, it brought the curls out back, okay? So yeah, um, I forgot to mention Naked and his girl Kaylee. I loved them this season. The first season, I'm not gonna lie, parts of them kind of irritated me. But this season, I was like, they are so very just like at peace and they make me happy watching them. I'm like, yes, they look so happily in love genuinely and I love that for them and even him giving her a key to the house and I was just like y'all are so cute y'all are so cute and I love what y'all are building I hope it stays healthy I hope it stays blessed I hope nobody infiltrates it on some BS I hope that they have such a successful relationship because it's giving it's giving what I like to see all right, I'm gonna do a little lippy. Y'all know I don't be really using um, pencils unless it's certain ones. Like I love Morphe Sweet Tea. I use that one all the time. Or Morphe's Trendsetter. Those two are my favorite pencils ever. But most of the time, when I have like a brown lip, I'm using my Morphe foundation. This color is F5.30. And I said this before in another one of my videos, do not not go to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff. I got two of these things, I think for like maybe three bucks. And I use them all the time. You can use it for foundation. You can use it for your lippy. And I always overline my lips. I low key want to get my lips done again. Mm -hmm. 
after I do my makeup, I have to clean my brushes. Like, it's imperative. I've waited way too long. If y'all are doing your makeup at all, and you start seeing, like, blackheads or acne pop up, clean your brushes. A lot of people will just keep their brushes dirty and keep using it. I was guilty of that for years before, before I started taking, like, my skin seriously. Your skin is your biggest organ. You want the things that you put on it to be clean. So... That's how I do my lip. And a lot of times I'll use I'll do a matte lip. I like a matte lip over a glossy lip, but when I'm feeling extra like, yeah, I want my lips to be like, hey. Then I'll throw some gloss on it. So yeah, that's what the lip is giving. Honestly, this face is just going to be clean, easy, flawless. Be I'm going to throw a lash on top, brush out my uh, baking, and then I think we're going to be done. I forgot this step of the brows, y'all. So this palette is by Julia's Place. This is the Nubian Earth Palette. So I take usually this color right here with this type of brush like a angled brush all right let me do this so you guys can see it boom and then i'll go over my brows too just to fill them in a little bit more and keep them um just in place if you don't want your brows to move for like days this is what you do so you just fit it in a little bit whatever areas you feel like Boom, you see how it just makes it like, like this, it's like a night. Boom, boom, you see that brow, baby? You see that brow, baby? Boom. As I'm watching it, I'm like, it's giving Zari and Andale need each other for a storyline. So I'm like, ain't no way. They don't go to me. Like, and she said to she's like, yeah, I haven't seen him in quite a bit. I'm like, girl, because y'all probably don't talk unless y'all are filming. I don't know. It's giving that, but. I'm gonna mind my business. I'm definitely not minding my business. This is a reality show I'm doing. I didn't even know this video was gonna turn into that, but I actually really love this show so much that I was like, you know what? This is gonna be a whole get ready with me slash young, famous, and Africans what I be thinking about it. So, also, sidebar, I feel like, I feel like Zari is obsessed with Diamond. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, because when she asked Diamond, she was like, am I obsessed with you? I'm like, girl, it's giving that. Whether it be just for the cameras, it's giving that. You really be tight when he starts dating somebody else. You really don't want him to be with nobody else. And if he decided to be with you again, you would be all for it. I don't know. That's what it's giving. And I have mascara on my nose. So that has to come off. I told y'all that trick in one of my vlogs before, but if you missed it, if you do ever get any eyeliner, like a liquid or a mascara on another part of your face or your eye when you're putting it on, let it dry first. You have to let it dry. Do not go in and try to rub it off or put product on top of it if you get that on your face. Wait till it dries, grab a spoolie like this and just brush it off. It'll come right off like in flakes. If y'all have ever seen the magnetic lashes, this kind of works like that. I usually put a just one layer of glue, eyelash glue on my lashes, like right on the lash line. And also on the lash band. And when I tell you it makes it so much easier to put on the lash, it kind of like magnetizes itself and like they kind of find each other, the lash band and the lash strip that you, um, the lash glue line that you put on the lash line. I'm in prison. We were friends a while back. And I was not there. Why are you still being friends? The love. <sighs> the time. I don't want to talk about it. 
Oh, the tea. I didn't know that was a thing. First of all, let's give it up for these lashes. Ooh. But I did not know that Nadia and Bonan were friends. And now Nadia is dating. AK, I think he passed away. So God rest his soul. If, if that's the one that I think I saw online. But Nadia is now dating. Well, was dating. AKA, um... I didn't know that was Bonan's ex-boyfriend. Oh, girl. Not y'all not being friends over. Uh-uh. I hope that's not the case. And Loki, I'm like, I hope they fell out before a man. Even so. I don't know. Could y'all date somebody that was, like, with one of your past friends? I feel like even if we're not friends anymore i can't date you like i don't know but could y'all do it because technically y'all not friends anymore so you don't owe that person any loyalty but i feel like i don't know could y'all do that could y'all do that to each his own no judgment here we don't do no judging on this channel but i want to know y'all give me the y'all give me the tea in y'all lives could you date a ex-friend's ex-boyfriend <sighs> baby Ah, the glue is gluing. Her. Hopefully they're on the way that I feel like they are on. Like good. Oh, we did it. And they look good. I think I'm going to do a white eyeliner underneath on my lower lash line just to make my eyes pop a little bit let me do that 90 percent sure i'm still gonna have to add makeup up here and on the sides because my lace band has been here but it's okay i'm about to get to that now well, it's not too bad it ain't, it ain't too bad shorty it ain't too bad my girl fleeky she did that baby you can bank on it, you can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam Style, put the gang on him all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that Get Ready With Me video. I love you so much. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, I love y'all. See you next vid. Bye.